All right, y'all. I uh, let me slide. Ah, nah, fuck. <laughs> let me start from the top. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Lunar Neos. I know it's been... Damn, it's been a minute since I made a video. I've been in the hospital, and then uh, you already know what happened with uh, Mark Soul and his daughter, and all that happened before. And so, literally, it was just a spiral downhill. So, uh, we just took a break, and now I'm trying to come back. But I'm on Twitch streaming, too. And that's why you see this kind of different layout. So I'm trying to like get to where like while I'm Twitch, uh, while I'm on Twitch, do some uh, do both at the same time so I can chop these videos up and then just pour them straight to YouTube. So that way we can have our YouTube content while I'm uh, streaming, and that way we get the best of both worlds. Until I figure something out, I'm gonna go back to doing like the regular like me in front of the camera videos, but instead of like me. Staying up all night on the game, playing with everybody, I can just talk about this while we're playing, or like right now, and then put that on YouTube, and then that way it doesn't interfere with anything. And so right now we're live on Twitch, as you can see, I'm fucking up, and uh, but I'm here with my boy, Gark Time Gaming, and we just got back from Spider Man. And this is this is gonna be my review slash like just fucking just first reaction. So like people at home, mute me for right now. I let you know when to unmute me on Twitch. But uh, fuck! Like I can't even process nothing right now. I can't even like I can't even like get out. <laughs> I can't even like get my thoughts together to explain to y'all how much. I'm shocked that they actually pulled this off in a way that, first off, didn't undermine our boy, Tom. Okay? And I gotta, oh, sorry, YouTube, I gotta catch us up on, um, you know, the Hawkeye shows and get back on the podcast. I'm gonna get back all that. I gotta talk about my hero and stuff. We're gonna get to all them videos, but this is the first upload. So, uh, but back to... Back to what I was. I can get off, get to the important stuff later. But back to Spider Man. Fuck, nigga. Oh my god, bruh. First off, I'm gonna just. All right. First off, everything finna be spoiled. Everything finna be spoiled for right now. I'm sorry. But continuing that. Hey, you better go. So bruh, go like just. Oh my god. Oh my. Bro, if you can see my face right now. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know how to fucking... How do I even, like, explain? Like, how do I, like... Fuck, bro, like, goddamn, like... Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me... Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Let me take that. Alright, alright, so... Should we start at the top? Or should we, like, just kick it to where, like... What our favorite moment? Our favorite I mean, moment. however you. This this is gonna be a podcast type podcast <laughs> style video, like how me and Marco do. It's up. It's with Garth Time. It's some new heat. You can follow him on Twitch. What is it? Go Time Garth Gaming. Go Time Garth Gaming. Yeah. At Twitch, and then he gonna have his YouTube channel and stuff up soon. Get it back popping. Under the it. same name. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. What, you want to stop at the top or just go straight into like the fucking I mean, killer? Cause I mean, I we can we could, what we could what we 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 can start at the top and then and then go from. 
I guess kind of a synopsis of the movie from from start to finish. Then maybe we can give our favorite moments and and, and emotional moments. How about that? Okay. And then of course we're gonna talk about the end credit scene because oh my fucking goodness, bro. Bro, oh yeah, bro. If they bruh. do that for every movie from here on out, that's bruh. fire. That's <laughs> fucking fire, bro. That is fire. Wait, I'm talking about bruh. that. I'm about, I'm talking about the last end credit scene. Yeah, I'm talking about the last end. Credit. Okay, okay, okay. We understand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, because this movie basically leads up to that fucking movie. That's the whole bruh. point of that movie coming out. He fucked up. Oh man. But he it, fucked it, up. But okay, we're gonna get to that. We're up. gonna get to that. I, it's oh. crazy, like, but 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 it's so dope how like it's just a tumble effect at this point, like man, just fucking like, shit rolls downhill, bro, bro. <laughs> God, okay, 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 okay. Let me wind it back. Cause we at the dead end, cause that, bro. I want to talk about that one specific moment when Ned is when Ned in the kitchen. That's the that's the oh. one moment I just want to kick off like on top, off real. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Again, everybody on Twitch, I just I, I, like mute it. Like just if, if you don't want to talk about Spider Man, don't be in this bitch, bro. Let me tell you. Where is your game, bro? Where is your game? Oh my God, bro! You know I got Andrew Man. poster on my wall. To this Man. day, bruh, and he was the when first they, one, bruh, no, no, listen, 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 feel about him this aura this presence that you just and then just the the way his peter parker is is just he is the ultimate spider-man like he is so comical and just himself bro that yeah. shit was so amazing bro they pulled it off in a way that's like I, 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 so it's like, you see it, like, you, it's like, ain't, can they do it? Can yeah, they you know, do yeah. it? Like, we know they can do it, but it's like. But how would it make sense? Exactly. It fucking make and sense. they made it make sense, bro. Yep. And the fact, bro, it was so dope, bro. And then they, and then it was just like Sony, and I love that they brought Amy Pascal back. Because she wrote the uh, Amazing Spider-Man and she was like helping John Watts with the original Spider-Man movies. So yeah. she was the key to all of this. If she wasn't there, it wouldn't it wouldn't have not been. It would have not been nowhere near as good as it. Uh, like when she, she just give props to her. Like her, you just, just, father, just, father, yeah, father, like just, father. just, she pulled it off, bro. And the fact that she got everybody to come back, everybody. she got every, she got all the villains and both Spider-Mans and, bro, and she tied up every loose end from the jump, from the original story, from the original trilogy. She tied up all the loose ends for the Amazing Spider-Man stuff. Well, they didn't bring every villain back because we didn't get Rhino. I mean, but, we but you we, the movie villains, the ones that were but like, yeah, but yeah, the main, the main, main one, like even though Rhino on the poster is a fucking cop out, it's yeah. a. I I'm glad they just stuck to them five, really, honestly, like yeah. Mysterio. Finding Mysterio to make it way back would have been like uh. It would have been, been weird. It would have been weird because that because literally it's just like it, like that's his it just universe. Happened. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. So it being it was a sinister five, you know, but it was amazing. Like they 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 pulled it, and the fact that Green Goblin, he bruh, he was more, yeah. he first off. The fucking it, way they shot the movie in the scenery and shit, it felt like a scary movie when the niggas was pulling up. Especially when the lizard pulled up. Oh, man. 
bruh, oh, bruh, like the, the what, like the, what is it, the, um, what's it called, the, uh, cinematography, that shit yeah, was yeah. on point the whole movie, but the psychological effect that the Green Goblin was giving Peter the entire movie, the entire fuck, and that's how he did fucking Tobey Maguire, Peter exactly, Parker. just fucking with it with the split personality shit, like, nah, mm -hmm. you just crazy, exactly, there ain't no split, nigga, you crazy, exactly, <laughs> bro, like, that shit in itself was fucking, oh man, dude, the fact that Andrew pulled up first, bro, like, I was hyped for Toby, but Andrew, like, if anybody know me, Andrew is my Spider-Man, like, you know it, you know me, like, you know how I am, like, like, oh, yeah. I, we grew up with Toby, and so he's cool, but, like, I, I, Andrew came around when I had just, right after, like, I, like I've been into comics my entire life. But, like, I was really, like, understanding, like, the timeline and the stories. And we was coming off Civil War and shit. And they was, like, uh, doing all the new Infinity uh, storyline and shit in the early 2010s and shit. Like, so yeah. he was, I was coming off all the Ultimate Universe stuff when they just, like, rewrote everything with the, uh, what was it, Secret Wars and shit. And he just came and, like, took all of the Ultimate Spider-Man shit from the 2000s and just made me fall in love truly with the character on screen like i like the original stuff but like tom like andrew's spider-man to me like just hold a special place in my heart and he didn't get his trilogy bro like he didn't get bro when he called mj i started crying bro uncontrollably because like and that's another thing I give Amy Pascal and credit. And it showed him a very emotional. He Bro, was emotional, uh, that's exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like T Toby Maguire's Spider Man was just like a comic book character on screen. Finally, like he was the first one like to to take it like to the next level. Like Blade, like opened the door, and his movies like Spider, like his movies like superhero movies aren't dead, and they can be taken serious. Mm -hmm. That was his movies, but like. Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man stories were like really like like can hit home and dealing with loss and like what what would yeah. you go through like hit like grounded basically you know what I'm saying and then Tom Holland Spider-Man is just like what if comic books were really real how would everything yeah. play out and so you know Tom Holland gets the best of both worlds but they even and I love how the whole all the entire movie was just like everything was like being played off all the memes and stuff like they're really in tune with us as the fans like they yeah. had like you've seen the daily bugle magazines like iron boy jr fails and it's just like yeah, yeah, they yeah. know we see him as iron boy jr like he's not like he's spider-man but he got a crutch with tony and the fact that they first off I, I, i'm not gonna get to that yet but the yeah, fact that like yeah, they but, played yeah. on all the crutches <laughs> and shit of all the movies and stuff and then the fact when that like um Tobin Guire when he shot the web and they was like what well, that comes out of you like yeah, yeah like, <laughs> bro, <shit>. like <laughs> they played on everything that like us as fans have talked about for years yeah Andrew made the movie for me I'm gonna be real with you Andrew made the oh, movie because yeah. like it's like you said when he was like the most emotion like when he caught MJ. MJ. Then he's like, I love you guys. And he's like, yeah, I always like, love brothers like yeah. that. Yeah. Because like when like and that's the thing, like it's like I know it was it, it was it was Tom Holland's last outing, but this felt like Andrew Garfield's like three like two point five like movie. Like yeah, 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 yeah. you know, like it's we, like it's almost his trilogy, like Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, <laughs> like let, like you can watch both his movies and then watch this movie. Yeah, as his and trilogy, it and then it still makes sense. And you can watch the original Spider-Man movies, and then watch this movie, and then like he got his four movies, like his quad move, like them all the movies that they got signed for, they all got to complete it, and they got to like you know tie up what they could yeah. without taking away from Tom Holland. And yeah, and and the and like like when Jamie Foxx appeared, and he was like, I got my body back. And then, like, bro, like they just let, they just let him be a nigga. Like he he wanted yeah, like like, like <laughs> bro, like that like Jamie Foxx made like all, the all everybody from the Amazing Spider Man shit was on they shit. Like yeah. the like the lizard the he ain't say much during the movie, but every time that nigga spoke, it was some real shit. He's like, oh it's yeah, real. you gonna see what I'm talking about. Oh, it's coming. 
is coming. And he was like, Showtime. Like, my nigga Lizard, <laughs> that nigga Lizard was on his shit, bro. He, he, just, he was just there waiting to throw hands, bro. Yeah, waiting to fucking to throw, throw hands. hands. That's all he cared about, bro. And the, bro. Green Goblin, though? Like, first time out, time out, time out. Let me go back. Let me go back. Doc Ock was whooping Peter ass. I told you that nigga Peter not built like that. I was right. Tom Holland not well, built. Well, he not built. Yes and no. He yes and no. Because he, he dropped his nuts to that certain point. He dropped his nuts at the end of the movie. Yeah, but I say yeah <laughs> because every Peter, every Peter has had a, two losses basically. Mm -hmm. Two losses, and so that's I, bro. When when that happened, when okay, so we are gonna say it. When fucking Aunt May died, bro, I yep. cried. I yeah. Yeah. There and cried yeah. because I'm like. This boy then lost fucking Tony, which is basically his fucking Uncle, uncle Ben. Ben, yep. And yep. then fucking aunt and bro. But and like the uncle, but Tony was like the I gotta grow up, like you know, like 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 Peter, like uh, OG, like um, let's we call him by that first name, like yeah. when um, fuck uh, Toby McGuire, like when he came on the screen, he was just like you know, like Uncle Ben, like that was like his, like he could have fixed that, he couldn't have fixed yep. Tony, like Tony was already Tony. But that that so that loss was just like a he, he got to step his game up. He he ain't got no shadow no more. Which we see that Doc like even though Doctor Strange was technically his mentor in this movie, he was not. Yeah. He couldn't do nothing. Like he just on like you saw he was he. First off, Doctor Strange let that nigga win. <laughs> Cause that nigga Doctor Strange could be tough, could beat his ass for real, for real. Yeah. But he was he. When I and that's another thing, Doctor Strange's emotions towards Peter, I loved. I'm gonna come back around when he like you yeah. could he knew how much pain that Peter already been through with Tony and stuff, and he knew how much Tony loved Peter, and he knew that Tony did all of this for Peter. It's yeah. so like Doctor Strange's emotions towards Peter was just like us seeing like Tony, like a glimpse of Tony through him, and so it's just like. Even though he couldn't fix it, he still wanted like to help. And so, when they were fighting, you could tell he really didn't want to fight. He didn't want to do this. He was just like, yeah. if it was Tony, he would have he would have beat his ass like his daddy. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it was yeah, more it was, it was more like his uncle getting on him than his daddy. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's why he got trapped in the in the in the fucking mirror dimension, which made sense. But I was like, how they gonna have the strongest nigga? in the universe in this movie and him not be on top of his game like you know what i'm saying <laughs> and so for him to well, like basically keep him in the mirror dimension that was perfect 12 hours yeah <laughs> that was perfect what you about to say i was gonna say uh well technically i mean dr strange in this universe really ain't been on his <laughs> shit and then that whole technicality bullshit. I was like, wait, what the fuck? So they got to go more in depth with that. That Wong is now the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, which like, makes sense why fuck? he's being like more and more movies now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, that I mean, it makes sense because he was he was blipped for five years. You got to think this movie starts right after Homecoming. I mean, Far From Home. Yeah, far from so yeah. this is, takes place before Civil War and I mean not Civil War. This takes place before uh, the Captain America show, uh, Shang Chi, all of them. Like this takes uh, place that, right yeah, after yeah. Wanda, right after Wanda, and right after yeah, Endgame. Yeah. So none of the new niggas are here, and so him. Yeah, yeah. So so technically, yeah, like we, they still gotta like. Uh, fix what's going on with the uh you know everybody just not coming back and shit just not come yeah, yeah they're blipping all that shit uh what's what's another part uh that uh that i want to like get off my chest the fucking scene when they got their shit together and started to work as a team boy yeah oh yeah so so <laughs> when when <laughs> tom said i want to i don't want to brag but I'm, I'm part. I'm part of the Avengers, <laughs> and today was I'm like, I love. I told him, I was like, yo, that's so cool, man. I'm so happy for you. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> Pete, I mean, uh, Tom was like, wait, we 
what you mean? What is that? You ain't got, y'all ain't got no the Avengers. And he's like, and Andrew's like, that a band? You're in a band. I want to be in a <laughs> band. band. Dude, I'm Andrew, bro. <laughs> he, bro, the fact that he got to be, I'm glad they did not downplay his Spider-Man because he is the comical jokester always on his feet like Peter Parker, yeah. Spider-Man. And the fact that they all shine. He stole the movie. I, I'm being bi I'm probably being biased, but he stole the movie like the shine from them. Like, like he was just yeah. shining the whole movie. So like every time he said something, everybody was laughing at theater. He yeah, always had the, the the like the comical comebacks, like comical one liners. Yeah, like he had the Spider Man one liners and everything. Like he was always on his feet, bro. But I. The same time being said, like, he was able to actually, like, show his emotions, bro, like. Oh, yeah. Like, when they show, when they, when they, uh, when, Mary, when uh, MJ was like, you know, we got some business, and they came down and shit, bro. Yeah. That scene was, like, fucking epic. That was like, you, have you seen, uh, what was that comic? Like, Into the Spider-Verse, the comic book version? Like, that's the how. Comic? Yeah, the no, comic book version. That's how, like, uh, I forgot which Spider-Man. They did, they, that was a scene from that, that issue. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Me, me, and they was meeting, like, Miles and shit, you know? Speaking of which, they hinted at that. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> Jay, yo, Jamie said, man, Jamie it gotta said, be, I thought you would've been black. It's gotta be a black Spider-Man somewhere. I know it is now. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, Jamie, bruh, Jamie was on his nigga shit, bruh. Man, what? That nigga <laughs> got a fade and everything, he said, bruh. <laughs> Bro, and then and then the whole movie, he was the one saying the most obvious. He was saying what the crowd was saying. He was like, you know what? Yeah, I just remember doing it in what? Damn, I was I was dying. I was dying. I was. The one. I died too. <laughs> like damn, everybody. Boy, that nigga was funny, bro. That, Man. I oh another person I didn't think that was going. I knew his parts was gonna be emotional. But I ain't think like how deep they would go to Sandman, bro. Like the Sandman, when he showed up and saved Peter, and he was just like, oh, yeah. uh, he was like, "Hey, Peter, you remember me? Like, it's me." Such and, such. and he was like, yeah. "Uh, yeah, we gotta talk about." Hold on, yeah, yeah, we, Adrian, we in a party. Join up. Hold on, let me invite. Him. Hell yeah, but mm. bro. That man, talking about emotions, bro. Like I had to shed them tears, man. Bro, yes, bro, bro, yes. Yes. That shit hit fucking hard. Cause like she was art. Like I knew she got hit by that glider. And I'm just like, damn. Duh, but bro. She. she got, they said it's gonna leave. Bro, and she then, was uh, being a G. She she went out like man, a G. What? She like went out like a G. G. Like a G, man. But hey, y'all, the end credit scene though. So it's leading up. This movie is leading up to the multiverse of madness. Yes. Straight when to. When I it. fuck. Okay. So the two things that had me hyped. Was one Shuma Gorath. They yes. Fucking bringing Shuma Bro, did you see how he looked? Did you see man, how he, he looked? So lit. fucking accurate, lit. bro. Lit, bro. I was trying to tell Adrian, I was like, bro, that Shuma Gorath, that nigga can't die. He finna fuck Dr. Stranger, bro. Man, he about to fuck Dr. Stranger. Man, and then the fact that he's fighting himself. What? So. So when yes. I can't remember they had it in the What If series. Yes. The dark version of uh, Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer something. What's yeah, it called? The the, uh, the Dark Sorcerer Supreme, but I forgot. It's a title. It's a fucking title. Yeah, it's Night a new title. It's like so Nightmare. It's not Sorcerer Supreme. It's no, like it's like Nightmare something. It's like he's like a fucking. He's like a Mephisto on that level kind now. Kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he kept Bro, absorbing like, everything. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Bro, when I seen that, I was like, "Oh, <laughs> bro, the I'm 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 lit, but upset at the same time because it's him." Which the Disney Plus shows, when they said they going into these shows, they really meant it. But at the end of the Disney Plus show, it made it seem like he was good, like, cause they killed Ultron. Yeah, but again, it's a multiverse of madness. So it just could yeah. be an alternate version of the evil one. No, I didn't think about an alternate version. It might not be the same him. one. You know, it's going to be an alternate version of that one. But at the same time, too, I don't think that's it either. Because they said the uh, the main villain of this is going to be Nightmare. So I'm pretty sure Nightmare probably... What if Nightmare took... What if, no, what if Nightmare took that body of him? Or of that, too, yeah. 
You know, because he can do that to... Oh, my gosh. First off, rewind back. If they do that shit like he, Doctor Strange will return as showing the trailers, yeah. that is lit. That's lit yeah, as fuck, yeah. fuck, bro. Oh, yeah. my God. That's lit so, as fuck. Also, we got to talk about the first credit scene. So, is this the way they... First off, to me, I like, cool. This is the way they're going to introduce Venom into the MCU. Yes. A different way. Yes. Secondly, it sucked to that me, Tom Hardy went sense. straight back, went right back, right back. But to me, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because if Venom and Tom, if Venom and uh, Brock both got teleported back to their universe, how could a piece get left behind? Because wouldn't it teleport all essence of them? Not necessarily. It's well, got you. Got to think. Uh, what I heard was he was a multi. He, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's. I mean, a, he he is. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I get that because uh, the Clintar exists outside of time and. and yeah, remember, and remember shit. in the end credit scene. So Venom can stay because Venom. So that piece that stay isn't Venom. It's the symbiote. You got to think of like, like well, how, yeah, yeah. like how, like, you got to think of how like butterflies shed their cocoons. Like it's just a piece of them. So when that latches onto the next person, then it forms into what will be called Venom. It makes sense. Well, yeah. That's what I'm trying yeah. to figure out because they changed it though. So is Venom gonna still be aware? Yes. No. Whenever he gets, whenever, universe? whenever he gets a host, then he's tapped in. When he ever, when he like grows and gets his host, then he's tapped into the to the Venom, the uh, symbiote, um, hive mind. He has to have a host though. So who and we already know from the Venom movies that every time a new piece of Venom latches on, he just drains them. So what's probably gonna happen is he's gonna that little piece is gonna attach to somebody and grow and grow and just kill people and kill people and eventually get onto somebody like Flash Thompson or their universe Brock or just uh, whatever. Okay. You see what I'm saying? MCU Flash, MCU Flash. I think they gonna they gonna introduce uh, Spider Man first. They got him. No, they are, but it's just like my thing is, are they going to you like are they gonna make Tom Hardy like a variant and have him in the MCU as his character or just have somebody else play him? Well, I already heard that they were doing a different Spider Man. That it was gonna be a different nigga. What you mean a different like, like I like when like I heard that was like this was supposed to be his last movie, but apparently he got six more movies. But no, yeah, no, that was that was before. Like he signed a new contract, but the, I think the next trilogy. Oh, everybody, this Ada, Ada will follow him on Twitch. Uh, we, I'm shooting my YouTube video right now, Adrian. So, <laughs> welcome to it. Uh, I don't think. I, so with so with Tom, so with his contracts, he he got another three, and it's gonna be like the college trilogy. But you know, Spider Man never like. He never gets past college. He always dies and whatever. And the only universe he ever survived in was like the universe was old man Peter Parker. You know what I'm saying? But he was bitter and stuff. Well, the other Spider-Man because um, there's a Spider-Man that has all the girlfriends. And eventually as he grows older, he gets Mary Jane at the end. No, he dies in that. That's, that's He dies in that. He, but, he was, but that was after that was after college though. He yeah, he married, gets married and dies. Yeah, he gets married and dies. That was right after college, though. Like, he don't get no older than, like, he don't get past, like, 35. That's fucked up. What about Spider-Man 2055 and shit? Those niggas get older, though, don't they? But, no, no. That takes place. That That's, like, they start in, like, the 2050s. And then that that timeline is just, like, the 2055 timeline. But he's still, like, you know, a young nigga in the college. That's fucked up. So, Peter Parker don't never get old. What about Miles Morales? Miles get up, you know they ain't gonna kill no niggas, bro. Come on now. You don't act like that. You know they can't wait to kill the niggas. No, Marvel, Marvel good on keeping Miles alive, cause niggas fuck with Miles. Like we a riot and Miles die. But Miles, he's like a better but, Spider Man though, cause he got different powers and shit. Yeah, he they literally everything about Miles is better because they had to like change it up. But you know how people is with uh with Miles yeah. and shit. Um, what Kenny at? Is Kenny getting on? Oh, yeah, he said he was going to light one up. He, are, he already online. He online. Just send him pop on. Uh, oh, invite him to the party. What's your time? Where the fuck you been at, cuz? 
No, I got. We got go time, man. and his brother affiliated. Them niggas like disappeared. No, <laughs> bro. Like I, I need to get affiliated, bro. I'm. I got 44 followers, bro. I need six more. Yeah. Come on, everybody, share. Hey, bro, put me. Uh, what's it called, Adrian? When you put me on your Twitch, I forget. Hosting. Oh, you talking about hosting? Yeah. I can put you in my Discord. Yeah, we gotta get you on the Discord to too, more. Kevin. Oh, uh, my own server and shit? I, got, I can yeah, make yeah. one, but ain't nobody yeah, gonna follow I, I, that I bitch really right now. Up, I, I mean, you really it's good to go have it. Doing your own thing first. I ain't gonna say your own thing, but like hanging out of the other streams first. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? Network got down. That's what I do. I just wrote a dis uh, some dude I seen him streaming last night, but uh, I don't think he gonna hit me back. I don't know. People get bougie, bro. That's what I'm saying. This shit hard now. Yeah, yeah. I say we should have done this shit ten years ago when we talked about no, it. No, I should have stayed doing yeah, it when I was there. Definitely should have stayed doing it. That's what I'm saying. I should have stayed doing it, bro. But yeah, yeah. fuck it, it's whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guard, bro. This nigga Yo. ate a fucking snoring in the movies, nigga. He went to sleep, <laughs> bro. Uh, I'm just, I'm just a big nigga. I don't want to be on. That shit low key got down offensive. Oh, <laughs> damn. My fault, man. No, I thought you. Nah, you was snoring a lot of fuck one time. I really did think you were asleep. That's why I tapped you that one time. Yeah, yeah. I, no, one time I did fall asleep, but I don't yeah, know. I know, I know, <laughs> what, I know what time you talking about. They tapped me that first time. I was like, damn, I wasn't. The Kenny thought I was asleep. He said, man, she got hit by the thing. I said, I'm literally sitting here watching her get hit by the damn Bruh. glider. Bro, there was that, some nigga above, right behind me, sleep though. He was for real sleep. No, nah, I think yeah, that nigga snort, but y'all snort together. Sound like y'all was with it. Y'all was in sync. Man, what that nigga? He was gone. He was gone for the full movie though. That nigga was on uh, soon. Hey, this nigga paid to soon. take a nap. Hey, bro. Sometimes it be like that. I done did that before. Scenes, bro. I, know I done did that before, bro. Taking forever. You be getting tired, and then the. Movie so dark, like during the dark parts, I couldn't really even see. Like, yeah, I, 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 yeah, the big thing was darkest. That's why I like going to the Huntsville movie theaters. But I knew Huntsville was gonna be dead as fuck tonight. I yeah, yeah. See, man, I, that's like when the part when they was bumping in the night. That's when I fell asleep. I couldn't even see shit. Hey, bro, hold on. Them niggas start bumping at the end. Bro, speaking about bumping, that nigga Tom Holland dropped his motherfucking nuts at the end, bro. That, yeah, hey, dude. when he stopped pulling his punches, when he, time out, when he slammed that nigga Green Goblin, I said, bro, that nigga, bro, he slammed, bro, he, slammed, he, slammed bro, he, slammed, bro he slammed the living soul out of that nigga, bro. You heard the, boom, I said, ooh, bro, what? And then, bro, when, and the first, fit, the first punches and shit, bro, I was like, okay, Peter, get in, the, get in his ass, bro. Man, then I started seeing that nigga reach all the way back, bro. Oh my God, that nigga was giving him that Tony, that Tony did to, Thanos, bro. Like, and he was about to fuck him up with that glider too, if I could. And know. that's when, and he that, was trying, I was dead. He was and that's where Peter, dead. and that's when, uh, uh, fuck, um, uh, damn, was OG Peter to, name? Uh, Tobey Maguire. To, that's when Toby wrote his wrong. He saved yep. Green Goblin, and that's what I loved about it, cause he was just like, you can't do it. Came to, even though fucking Green Goblin, dirty ass self, backstabbed his ass, he yeah. still couldn't do it. But I love, I love. We gotta rewind it though. What? Fucking Green Goblin was whooping the fuck out of Tom, bro. He oh was yeah. His ass through multiple oh, yeah. floors. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Multiple yeah. Fucking floors, that bro. see, and that's that's how the fight at the end felt so good because. That nigga Green hey. Goblin showed that nigga. nigga. That nigga Green yeah. Goblin, he the only one that's superhuman. Like, that nigga was taking all them hits. Bro, taking all of them, bro. Listen, Take Green all. Goblin built different. That nigga built that nigga different. Nigga. That nigga said, oh, you playing superhero. Bet, let me show you how real <laughs> grown niggas fight. That nigga yeah. threw him through the wall, and he was like, bink, 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 bink. And then that nigga started slamming him. Down the floor. I was like, Down that's the floors, bro. Oh, yeah. This Green nigga Goblin Green Goblin. Then he, 
then I'm finna hit your ass with this glider, goddammit. Bruh, <laughs> that nigga <laughs> Green <laughs> Goblin? Different, bro. That nigga Green Goblin different, bro. But that's because it, it, cause it ain't even, it's like an alter ego. That nigga, like, then he woke up and don't even know what the fuck happened. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Peter? And Peter? What the hell yep. is going on? And he was like, I seen a, I seen an advertisement for it. Peter, and I was thinking that maybe he can help me and did like, man, hold on, All right, pour one out for Aunt May, cause she, she ain't deserve to go out like that. Nah, man. She didn't. But, but she wanted to help fate. that nigga though, man. It is fake though. But what, I've seen it coming, Somebody cause when that. she, when she grabbed the Green Goblin serum, I was like, oh, she finna die. She finna die. Yeah. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no fucking way. And I then, no she, but they oh, swindled me though. Yeah, she grabbed the serum. And then she, and so she was like running around and shit. So I was like, okay, she's gonna die. And then when she got up and she was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm like, oh, oh shit. Oh shit, we lit then. We good. We good. We good. Yeah, and then she collapsed. And I said, oh, yeah, they played my heart. They get it. They hurt. They played heart, bro. That hurt, bro. I was sad. I, I was sad by him at May. I was like, damn. Yeah, like, I, I literally hurt. cried. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Well, cause that's Beto at the same time. She uh, fine as hell. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, Aunt May hurt though. Aunt May, cause she was keeping it real the, all the whole trilogy, bro. The whole trilogy. But what was sad though? What was what was hella sad was at the end when Happy came to oh, the grave yeah. and shit, bro. And he didn't and, even know. Cause. Bro, that shit hurt. And I he was I knew. Even know her. I knew he wasn't I mean, gonna fucking. The story is a dope, but I hate they did what they did, bro. He should have just yeah. did it from the fucking beginning. What the fuck? You literally did what the fuck? You just killed somebody, but basically, like that shit's stupid as fuck. Why do we do writing mo movies like that? It's well, movies. Like you gotta. Said, it's, it's got. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was gonna say it's movies, and you gotta remember, like people, like people don't pay attention to shit like us. So they just literally just watch it as like brain dead and just be like, oh, okay, cool. They just see flashy lights, explosive stuff. They don't ever get deep into shit. Like they, they can, but superhero movies, like people's attention spans are like not like what it should be, which this is one of the deeper Spider-Man movies. If you know all the characters and what they've been through. This is I mean, deep. it was deeper because they brought all them niggas, but I ain't believe I didn't believe they was gonna do it. They kept it a secret, but I knew they was. But I don't know, tell how much they actually cost though to do that. Yeah. I I like I, what I was telling uh, Garth earlier. I'm shocked that they pulled it off. They definitely pulled it off. It was dope. But the thing about it is, it's hard to see most of the shit because it was so dark. But other than that, it's a dope ass movie. I can't wait to watch it in 4K. Oh yeah. Like the movie is good. Like yes. But we can't see a lot of the shit. Like, a lot of the, like, I really couldn't see Lizard, man. He was, like, blurry. Like, for the most part, they were showing him. And him and mm. Sandman yeah. was blurry. Uh, Speaking of Lizard, that shit could have been a horror movie, bro. That nigga is weird. That shit could have been a fucking horror yeah, movie, that bro. Dungeon, I didn't, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck was going on down there. That shit I know they was down there, though. Oh, you talking about when they took took everything to uh what's our boy, uh Doctor Strange Lair? Yeah. Oh yeah, that shit was oh, dark yeah, as fuck. Oh yeah, your boy Ned. Uh your boy Ned supposed to be the hobgoblin though, ain't he? I don't uh nah, well they they technically wrote him out now and all of them they, gone. They did like a theory on that shit, but it wasn't true. Yeah. I do, I am glad he got to have powers though, something. Like every yeah. every uh Spider Man that movie. Every Spider-Man movie, uh, went the friend get fucking something, and Ned finally got the shine. So that was dope. That was dope for them. He was shining, but then he wasn't. The nigga opened the portal, but he couldn't close that. Bro, that he the reason the fucking <laughs> Spider-Man was pulled up. That shit was goaded. That Ned gonna forever it go down in history. When I seen that shit, bro, that was dope. Cause I knew what was happening. I was like, I was like, they don't look like. Peter Parker, because he was in an old alley. Yeah, that nigga lived in an alley. Really do it. Slim. Looking confused. Nigga was lost, bro. Like, he was <laughs> just like, just like Andrew, just out here like, hey, hey I'm I, I'm out here. I'm out here, nigga. Like, it is what it is, bro. But this was, that was dope, though, because all them niggas was brought to that universe. So, like, no till like, the thing about it, that they did that, they could branch it off so far, because... I think they're gonna branch it out. We're gonna get we're gonna get Iron Man back, him. And I got a feeling that he's gonna be coming back soon. Well, he's already in the multiverse, but they they're not gonna do it. They're gonna do it like 
They're going to do it, but in a way yeah, that is, is not no time soon. It's, he may come back for, like, Secret Wars or some shit, and it's going to be a, a the version of Tony Stark that didn't get married to Mary, uh, not Mary Jane, that didn't get married to uh, Pepper Potts Pepper. and ain't got no kid and shit. Well, they were showing her, or if they do it like the, the comics, uh, if they introduce Ironheart, it's going to make him a the Doctor Strange movie, right? Yeah. Say so what? He in the Doctor Strange movie. The girl, they, the, uh, the girl that he married, a Doctor Strange movie, wasn't she? No, that's that no, nigga. That's Scarlet Witch. Damn it! They changed her, her character then. No, Scarlet. I don't remember her looking like that. Bro, she's always looked like that. You mixing the people now? But <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it is, it was dark and blurry, so. You need like, some glasses, bro. Some glasses, bro. I was <laughs> say, <laughs> you need nah, glasses. I, I, I can see, bro. They, I they like, changed no the goddamn shit, body. The daytime shit was dope. Like I can see all that. But like as far as dark, bro, it was really dark. And some parts would be dark, right? You can't really see. No, it was but dark. No, I, 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 trust me, I can barely see. So I know what you're talking about. And I got glasses, so. Yeah, if I say Kenny had to get his glasses. I might yeah, no, I was gonna wear my contacts, right? but the if it was if we went to Huntsville, it would have been way better. Huntsville movie theaters is so lit. I'm gonna wanna see it again. That's what I, bro, exactly, like, I'm definitely want to see, I gotta go see it again, like. And I'm like, gonna have, like, some, I want to be sitting up on it, where I can see it, from wear glasses. Good. I, see, I know she got hit by that damn glider, but I just, it, to me, it was just like a shadow get hit. I was like, Kitty, did she get hit? Did she get hit? No, they played that one off, but they took it back to how it was in, uh, the fucking first Spider-Man movie. The fact that they pay homage to all of, like, how, like, just... It was like re-seeing everything from all those movies, bro. Who stole the show for you? Who stole the show for you? Uh, what Kenny? Kenny still in here? Kenny did not fall asleep. Oh my god. Nah, I ain't sleep. Who? Who? That's a new verse. Who stole the show? I know you ain't talking shit, nigga. <laughs> Your sleep ass in the goddamn movies. Movie. In the mo but out of all places you go to sleep, you went to sleep in the movie. That was you should tell your girl. I fell asleep in the movie, so I need to go see it again anyway. I got some people in this bitch. What's up? We talking about? We talking about? Spidey man, Spidey, Spidey, <laughs> Spidey, 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 or Spider Man, well, nah, well, Spider Man. They showed them niggas like, I, like you know, what I'm saying, I was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, it, it didn't matter which which Spider Man, I fuck with all of them. You know, I yeah. fuck with all of them too, but my boy, my boy came through that bit like, uh, hey, it's a door. Oh, my name's Peter Parker. What's up? <laughs> 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 Bruh. Like, prove it. <laughs> Bruh, yeah. All humble <laughs> Bruh. But he the dopest one. Them niggas was astounded by his uh, webs coming out of his arm. God damn it. Like, How the fuck are you doing that shit? God damn it. Them niggas said, that comes out of you? Like, what? <laughs> and then the fact that he was like, I did have a, a, a web block one time. I just couldn't do it no more. And they was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the niggas was fucking. He would be the creepiest <laughs> one, bro. Definitely the creepiest. He like definitely the, oh, like the way man. he acts, his demeanor is so like different from everybody else. It's like he's like an awkward. He the awkward Spider Man. Yeah. The other one is he, cool. When the other one is just like a kid. Like, the uh, he like, like so so Tobey Maguire is like six one six original quirky derpy nineteen sixty Spider Man. Like he is the one that like when people like think about nerds and stuff back then he would be that andrew andrew garfield is like the 2000s ultimate spider-man like the new ways like he, he he a nerd but you know he has like a comical he's side for him yeah, yeah he takes shit he don't take shit seriously but he's been through a lot of pain so he hide like he hiding that pain through his laughs and stuff and then tom holland is literally like what a Peter Parker, it, yeah, like new age shit. Like he's like Tom Holland's more like Miles, like how Miles views like you know Peter Parker and yeah, Spider Man and shit. Tom definitely that one. He, he the youngest, like, cause he's stupid young. Like he's 
still in high school all the way. Mm hmm. He, like, he definitely like was a freshman or whatever in high school. So he seemed like me. And he, and he like can, like he, he viewed things like, you know, like he, he was a child, you know what I'm saying? So like he had to grow up. But they also got to show, um, you know, how he interacts with t Tony, which that's why I love him because in the comics, you know, when he. That's what I was gonna get to. Because the other niggas, they didn't know who the Avengers was. They was like, yeah. the Avengers? That's what was that? <laughs> like, you know what that's I'm a like? band? <laughs> that shit, bruh. They did it, bruh. Marvel did it. And it made sense. And they pulled it off. And they. Like, I can't. And if I bet you people gonna have bad shit to say, I seen one nigga on, uh, uh, Garf shit talking about some fan service. Yeah, I niggas seen it. Bruh, niggas just, bruh. niggas can't wait to be different, bruh. Niggas be hating, bruh. I hate that shit, bruh. That niggas, good, what you, and then they said Endgame is fan service. And I'm just like, what you talking about? This is the last movie, like, it has to be. What you think it was going to, bruh, niggas is stupid for real, bruh. For real. And then, like, ain't that the point of fucking comic book movies in the, to fucking begin with? Fan service. Fan service. It's fan service because that's oh, what yeah. happened. Like that's what happened to come. It's like if they if you read if you go read the three the three chap the three comics they took it from was uh the one that Adrian was talking about when he got married, uh Big Time. Spider Man Big Time. Yeah. Um into the Spider Verse, the comic book version, not the shit that Miles doing is two different ones. Yeah. And then um What's the other one where uh spider the the death of Peter Parker where the Sinister Six kills them is like they they everybody know who Peter Parker is and he they like the Sinister Six literally goes to Peter Parker house and like Aunt May and Mary Jane like like um stuck in traffic on the way and that nigga Peter Parker bumping for his life like fighting these niggas for the, his life like whooping these niggas asses bro. And he take all of them out, but he end up dying in, in, in the um, cause of everything. Like, his wounds and stuff caught up to him, finally. And he dies in Aunt May's arms. And so, like, literally, like, they took all that stuff and, like, scene flipped it and shit. They they did it right. Like, they, they paid homage to the comics. They, they closed out, like, you know, we got to see what happened to, like, the other Spider-Man after their stuff. Yep, we got Andrew. Gave yep, Andrew Garfield got closure. Uh, fucking. Uh, Tom McGuire got closure. Oh man, when Tom, when fucking Andrew Garfield was like, I haven't fought no alien. <laughs> 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 Bro, that nigga was like, y'all got to fight aliens, and you been to space? I'm just hey, lame. You been to space? <laughs> I'm lame in it. And that's another look. Thing too, when he said, No, you're amazing, that yes, shit, bro, bro, like, because he's an amazing Spider Man, exactly. Like, but Yo. no, you but no, like, so when so when he didn't get his third movie, like, he he got really depressed. If you go watch his interviews and stuff, like, he felt like he didn't do like he could have, like, he didn't like live up to what he like what Spider Man was. He did, it did yeah, people so fucking picky. No, what happened was it came to it. It came when the, the uh, Tobey Maguire's fourth movie was supposed to come. So everybody was like, they, they ended fucking Tobey Maguire's stuff for this dude. Fuck him. So his movies didn't do good. And so in the box, the, if you go look at box office sale, it looked like they it flopped. But if you look at his DVD sales and shit, like people fell in love with him, bro. Like all his yeah, movies bro, and shit. But so that was back when it was Blu-ray and shit, that shit was dope as fuck. It was a beautiful ass movie. Like as far as like, the, the quality, like that shit was dope. I had the Blu-ray. But no, but that it, that's also in the time where uh Spider uh fucking Marvel was like getting all their bread and stuff, and so they was able to, and Sony was like still trying to compete against Marvel instead of like just want just being on Marvel's team and saying fuck it. You know, can't beat them, join them. Look like they on their team now. They don't oh yeah, no, like cause now they can do what they want to now. Like you know, what I'm saying they. The everybody winning right now, but uh, like Andrew Garfield Spider Man came out at the wrong time. Like the MCU was starting to pop off, Avengers two had just dropped. Everybody was wanting Spider Man in the MCU at that point. Like it, the odds was against him, and so like you know what I'm saying. Like I and that's the one thing I hate about like how they did 
his trilogy, like his movies, like people didn't give it a fair shot because he he was the first one to replace somebody. Like he he had middle child syndrome, literally middle child syndrome. I like, I didn't like the way he looked at like him as a person. I don't like the way he looked. But, but that's I the like same. Spider-Man. But you gotta look at like at kids at that time. Like he was out. He's like a reflection of us. All of us at that time. That's how we dressed. That's how we looked. Like he was a oh, nerd. I ain't talking about how he dressed. I'm just talking about like how he looked. He just looked weird. But I, regardless, oh. I fuck with Spider Man. I don't care who you is. I don't care what Spider Man you is. That's my nigga. Even one, good one, bad one, nigga, I'm fucking with him. Symbiote one, that nigga with fire, Scarlet Spider Man. What you think about uh? What you think of Garth? What you think about uh? Fuck, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh fuck, I was gonna say something. Oh, oh, our boy Murdoch, the worst kept secret oh. in mankind. Man, worst kept secret. Uh, yeah, that, that definitely, bro. That definitely was pretty dope. And then he caught and the he fucking brick. Yeah, <laughs> and then that nigga Peter was, and then Peter was gonna catch him, but he beat him to it, and this is like he beat him to it. And he's like, "How'd you do it?" And he's like, "I'm just a really good lawyer," and I'm just like, "This <laughs> nigga got powers, <laughs> Peter." Trying to bring Daredevil. Ain't no D, he there. That nigga is Matt Murdock. Literally was Mr. Murdock. Oh, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Mr. Murdock. Bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then, like, have you, did you pay attention to the silhouettes when the, 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 the multiverse shit was cracking? Yeah, there was the comic book accurate versions of shit. Like, I seen Rhino. Yeah. I Rhino, seen, Scorpion. Uh, Scorpion. I seen yeah. the Vulture. Who else yep, did you yep. see? I didn't, that's I all seen I some tell. dude with a staff, but I couldn't really make out who he was. Oh, that had to uh, be uh uh Craven the Hunter. Probably Craven the Hunter, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. It's probably with Craven the Hunter. Uh, now, now you say that because it did like he had fur around his neck. Mm -hmm. I seen uh what's our boy uh fucking damn I can't think of the dude name. It'll come to me in a minute. Uh. I seen comic book Venom, like Big Venom, which was probably the Venom from the OG movies. What you think about uh, not having a not having a six, like a six member? Yeah, I know, cause I'm trying to figure like who who they have to ha be the Sinister Six. They could have used then, the Vulture, but the Vulture. Yeah, I don't know what a Vulture is it. Cause I think they he's still locked up. Yeah, but they could have made it to where like he was, he got free during a blip, somehow. True. You know what I'm saying? Unless he got blipped. Nah, he ain't gonna get blipped. That nigga too gangster to get blipped. Bro, that's it's just crazy to see three fucking Spider Man fight. But now the funniest part too was uh they kept fucking up. It was like shooting each yeah. other in the face, and then yep. <laughs> it's because they like, like, just like you said, like they ain't they're not used to work. A, yeah, they not yeah. used to being on a team, which makes sense. Like they're not like it's three yeah. fucking Spider Man. They're solo characters. Like, bruh, that shit was dope. Yep. And the fact that he's like, well, <laughs> I've been on a team, and this I've been doing. on a team, <laughs> <laughs> and they numbered each one. other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they numbered <laughs> each other like. Peter one, Peter two, Peter. He's like, well, I thought I was Peter two. No, you're Peter one. Oh, yeah, I'm Peter. I'm Peter one. And like, oh, to Toby was Toby is technically Peter one, but he wanted to be. He said yeah. he was Peter one, but he, he's Peter two. I but, guess he would. Be, Tom made himself Peter one because it's his movie. Yeah, it's his movie. It's so fucking. Andrew was like, I'm Peter three. Like nigga just knew. Peter three. Like he threw his hands up. Yeah. <laughs> like nigga just knew he was last one, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit was beautiful, bro. Man, shit and was then you beautiful. did you peep the new suit? Yes, that bitch was glossing it. The comic ap accurate, accurate. Suit. That's the first time we've ever seen a comic accurate suit on screen, bro. Let that sink in. That's crazy. That shit was nice. Because of course the Sam Raimi suit is dope, but the the lines are three D. Mm -hmm. Then Andrew Garfield got a somewhat comic accurate suit. His, his was the closest was to the. To the not the ultimate universe, but to the um, it's a one shot they did, and that yeah. big long spider is on it. But it, yeah, but it's yeah. like a, 
the blue is more like a dark, dark blue instead of like, you know, they kind of mix it, which, yeah, but the lines on the suit are black instead of it being like the red spider, like, you know, the flip, like, it's basically like the same colors except the spider is red and then, you know, like, it's, it, on, in the comic book is, if it would have made the spider black and shit like the comic book, then it would have been accurate to that issue. Yeah. But to see the original fucking 1960s comic book suit, mm, that yeah. was nice. That, that was, was nice. Dope. Oh, is this one? Let me put it on the sword. I'm just trying to, like, a lot of things I was figuring out. It's like, damn, so what is, is he going to go work for the Daily Bugle now that nobody knows who he is, like the original Pretty Parker is? Because how he going to pay for his own apartment? And right. Then, they set like, it up to pick up, pick up how Spider Man one, Tobey Maguire Spider Man started. Started, yeah. And he's gonna go work for the fucking Daily Bugle, bro. That's crazy. Oh shit. And then uh, like, and then of course you know there's more movies coming. Mm-hmm. It's just the end of this trilogy. So I mean they're gonna basically, it's almost in a sense of starting a fresh fucking slate. Again, mm -hmm. but we still gonna have the same, same character. My thing is this though: is he gonna be in Avengers and shit now? Like, what the fuck? Like, cause my whole thing is he's supposed to be part of the Young Avengers, right? He's the leader of the Young Avengers, but like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna like refine him or something? And then it's just like, oh, and and fuck the whole just like fucking. They didn't go nowhere with the lawyers and shit. That was just like. Everybody knows Peter Parker is, and that's it. Yeah, and that's no it. lawyer, no no court scenes or nothing. I thought that when they was holding hands and shit, that shit was like gonna be a court scene or something. Yeah. But uh, well, I guess I mean the shit only really took place in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, court hearings usually. Get yeah, out you're, for right, you're right. You're right. Months. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um. Ah. Fuck. I'm just. I'm shocked it happened. But. Yeah, like fuck. What what can they do now besides you know the big lead up to Venom and shit, which we know that's coming. Fucking shit. Yeah. But. But. Did it discuss that Eddie Brock forgot who he was too? Yeah. Because. But remember, Venom exists outside of time. Yeah. The Clintars exist outside of time, so well, I guess I guess he wouldn't know that he's Peter Parker, but he still knows who Spider Man is. I guess. So I everybody guess. knows who Spider Man is. They just don't know Spider Man is Peter Parker. Peter, time, Peter Parker, yeah. Time out. The fact that uh, he let MJ like when he seen MJ scar, and he was just yeah, like, man, yeah. that was sad that as was fuck. Too. That was yeah, sad yeah. as fuck, bro. So now he he wanted to, but he was like. If he loved her, he gonna let, keep her, let yeah. her forget because she won't get hurt anymore. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. That hurt. That hurt. That hurts, bro. <laughs> that hurt, bro. For real. And, ugh, bro, that hurt. Yeah. I felt but for him But it's all part one. of fate, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because when it's he was, I mean, fate. listening to all their stories and stuff, bro, like, all. Yeah. That shit hurt, bro. For real. Fuck. Damn, man. Yeah, I wonder how they definitely go. Because in this MCU, in this, you know, this universe, he don't have a Harry. Of course, there's no Osborn either. Mm, yeah, when, uh, he when, ain't even going to have a when, best friend anymore. Bro, when Osborn said there's, I, Oscorp don't exist, that nigga was lost, bro. Bro, he was fucked up. <laughs> I used to, I, I'm the richest nigga alive where I'm from. <laughs> Who the fuck now is this nothing. Stark? <laughs> Who is this Stark nigga, bro? Oh shit! But yeah, your boy. Oof, your boy had to share some tears for old Aunt May. Goddamn Aunt May. Yeah, I cried. I cried a lot more. Man, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get spoiled with this movie like I did Endgame, but my tear. I got really emotional for um. I, I got emotional for Aunt May, but I didn't cry. I cried with um, 
when Andrew called when MJ. Him. Yeah, Andrew called MJ. That shit, that shit was different. Cause he started to tear up. Cause he's like, he, like you said, that was his like his redemption type. Yeah, type thing. like when and, um when he called her and then he was he he was like you you good and she was like yeah yeah I'm fine I'm fine and he, and he like bro like I just started crying bro like that was fucking that was just different I don't know bro it's just like cause I just like. <sighs> I can't even get to put into words just the fact that like when he caught her like it just took flash back to the fucking his movie where he you know Gwen yeah. died you know what I'm saying like shit bro shit yeah fuck bro that hurt like he almost fucking had her mhm I do not know what I want to do I don't know, I've just been doing some random shit my damn self. Right, I'm I'm so caught up on fucking talking about Spider Man and just digesting it all like shit. Man. <laughs> Talk about digesting it all. Mm-hmm. And then of course you know you got Doc Ock coming through as a slightly a hero. Hey, everybody, cause he didn't want to, he he didn't want to do that. He redeemed himself like. Yeah. But I do have a theory though. Okay. I don't know how it will play out. It probably never play out. It probably never fucking happened. Mm -hmm. But I think he took that arc reactor, reactor with him. Ooh. No, he gave it to. He threw it to uh. To Tom Holland. Did he? Yeah, when he took it off, he threw it to Tom Holland. And then, that, cause they swapped the thing, he threw the arc reactor to him, and then he stabbed and he grabbed the Witcher call and stabbed him with it. Stabbed well, him see, with the. Cause what I remember him doing, he yeah, he took the thing off, and then he put the thing on uh, Electro to, uh, I guess absorb his power or not. But he held it in his hand. He said, "The power of the sun in the palm of your hand." Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, so because you know he this whole little he machine. Then he talked to him. Then though, I want to say I, he talked to him. He, he, he possibly could have, but I was just thinking though, like I don't know if he did or not. And I was like, bro, what if he kept that? Something in my head is like, he taught, like, I keep thinking he tossed it to him. Like, that's what I. Yeah. That's what he I possibly keep could have. Alright, guys. Thank you for listening and watching this video. Uh, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to try to get back on schedule. And uh, we are out. I'm going to try to put. Hopefully, I'll remember to put links to everybody's stuff in the description. I'll see y'all. I'll try to make a video in the next couple of days. Oh, no. Nah, I'm probably going to make a, a My Hero video. Talk about My Hero Sunday or whatever. All right, y'all. I'm out. And...